Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. I'm your host, Sarah Roman, here to give you the scoop on all of your favorite things. Josh Martinez, who is the winner of Big Brother Season 19. Josh, how does that feel to have one Big Brother? It's crazy. Honestly, I've been a fan since I was 14. Um, so it's really crazy to think that I actually won Big Brother. Like, every time I hear it, it's been four months. I mean, we're going on four months. And every time I hear it, it it's like the best feeling in the world. So, yeah, it's a dream come true. Did you go into the house then as like a super fan? Like you knew yeah. the whole game, like you like you grew up watching it, but then had your views changed like when you went in? Did you want to have that okay. kind of background? Because some people go on it and they're just like super fans out. Like how did you make yourself stay as a super fan? Honestly, um, being a super fan and watching past seasons, I see that super fans either make it really far or they usually go early. Um, I was a huge fan of Steve Moses and I saw how he played the game and people weren't really onto him. They kind of just like, you know, um, push them off, brush them off to the side and me being such a big personality, I knew that that wouldn't work. But if I downplayed how much I knew the game or, you know, how well I knew the dynamic of the social game and how Big Brother worked, I knew that people would overlook me and they would underestimate me. So that really worked to my advantage, not sharing with the house um, that I was a super fan. But also, like, the first half of the game, I couldn't engage in conversations because all people were doing was talking Big Brother. They were talking past seasons, past players, and that was one of my strategies not to say that I was a fan or how well I knew the game. So, yeah, it sucked in the beginning because I kind of seemed antisocial, but I just didn't want to engage or give anybody, like, an inkling that I knew what Big Brother was. Yeah. Um, how was your experience overall in the show? Like, obviously you won, so it was great in that aspect, but how was the overall experience in your opinion? The overall experience, it was honestly the best experience of my life. It was really stressful, and it was one of the hardest experiences. I can't explain it. There's not one word to choose my Big Brother experience, but – it was the best experience of my life. It's something I dreamed about and to actually be in the house, just waking up every single morning. We would wake up to music. I would wake up tears of joy because I was so happy to be living that moment. And I'd never been so present how I was in the Big Brother house. So it was a dream come true. And uh, yeah, extremely stressful, but it was worth it. And I read like you're very close to your family. So is that yeah. hard being away from them for all that, that time? Was one of, yeah, that was one of the hardest things to deal with in the house. And that was one of the, probably the hardest thing to go through was being away from my family for so long. I think one thing is like, I've been away from my family. I lived on campus in college and things like that. And I moved out before, but the no communication for that amount of time, that was the hardest thing. It was, it, it was way too long. We were in sequester for a week. I think I was in sequester for like 12 days. And then I went in the house. I was one of the first people sequestered. So it was really hard having no communication with my family and I'm a mama's boy like I think all of America knows that so yeah that was hard and that play it took a huge toll on me not being able to know how my family was doing and yeah did you have a lot of time to prepare like when you're saying you were sequestered as one of the first ones was that like you got the call and then those 12 days you were planning or did you know like way ahead of time you were going to be able to go in the house for the summer no. So I was going through casting I think casting started for me I sent in a video in August I got a call in March so no, I got I got a call. Sorry, I got a call in January. So it was all really like there was I had a I thought that I didn't get it. This was my third time trying out. So I was like, all right, they're not gonna call me. I originally tried out for a big old, big brother over the top. Um, so I sent in the video for that. And season seventeen, I was a semi finalist and I didn't get through. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it again. Tried out for Big Brother eighteen. Didn't even get to semi finals. Tried out for BBLTT, didn't get a call, and they ended call. They ended up calling me from my Big Brother Over the Top casting video. Wow, so, I think that's really cool to know. Yeah, like a lot of people, I don't think anybody know. knows that. Yeah, yeah, and it worked out perfect because hey, you might not have won the other ones. But yeah, 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 exactly. I, I don't know how it would have worked with the cast on Big Brother Over the Top, but um, so yeah, I got the call in January, and then it happened really fast. I, I we started going into interviews one-on-one -on -one interviews and things like that. And then I met, flew out to LA and then, so I had no idea. Even when I got the call, like, oh, we're going to come to your house and do the video. I didn't expect to leave. It was so crazy. So I honestly had no time to prepare. 
That's like awesome. I really didn't think I was gonna get on. Um, so yesterday I talked to Gina Marie and she yeah. like loves love you. Her. She was just had nothing but nice things to say. So keep in touch with anyone from your season. Yeah. yeah, I do. I keep in touch with probably 90% of the cast. We're I'm really good friends with Christmas, Paul, Kevin, Jason, Alex, like really close. I'm really close with Dominique. Uh, Jilly and Ramsey's like I'm close with most of the cast. I just I just don't talk to four people out of um, what sixteen of us. So yeah, but I I talk to most of the cast yeah, and I love them. I, people don't realize how close you become in the house and how close you get because you're secluded. You don't have a phone. You don't have distractions. So you build strong bonds. And yeah, they're gonna be in my life forever. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Um, was there anything like funny that maybe we didn't get to see? Cause I feel like you've got such a fun personality, like, and a lot of people don't see the live feed. So the, from the show aspect did, was there anything we didn't get to see that people would find interesting? Oh, honestly, I was a batch of crazy the whole time I was in the big brother house. <laughs> One, I know that I, I'm filming a reality show, so I know what goes into TV and all that stuff and being a fan of the show, but also it's a once in a lifetime experience. So I wanted to live it to, you know, to its fullest. I was literally, I think what I, I there's a storyline and, you know, production and all that, and they have to do their job and they do a great job at it. But I wish they would have showed more of the funny moments where we all got along. Like there was moments where we did all, there was story time with Kevin. There was in the morning when we would wake up and we would have like at least 30 minutes, but they would wake us up with music and we would all wake up dancing and, and, you know, having a good time and going crazy. So those were the moments that I really cherish and that I really, they were like our private intimate moments where people didn't see. Um, but yeah, I would dance all the time. I'm pretty sure that everybody saw that. It's like all over YouTube. So I'm pre they saw, I mean, you watch 24 seven and things like that, but um, yeah, they saw, they saw most of it. Um, how has your life changed then since going on the show, winning the show? I mean, it's obviously yeah. got to made a difference. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting none of it. I was expecting just to come back home. I knew I was going to get recognized and things like that. Obviously, I, I knew I was on a big show, and I know that Big Brother is such a successful show, and it has a huge following. So I knew that I was going to get recognized, but I didn't expect my life to just, I was expecting to go, come back home and go back to work and just hang out with my friends and go back to normal. I've been probably booked since I've stepped out of the house, which has been crazy. Um, and, but it's been a lot of fun. I get to travel and meet my fans and meet people that connected with us and, and, you know, watched us for three months and we became part of their, you know, daily routine in life. So it, it's really fun to get to travel and meet my fans and meet, you know, people that watched us all summer. Um, so are you still, I read like you were, you and your brother, is this correct, had like a hair care line or worked in a hair care business? Is that something? Well, my parents, so my parents have an, uh, wholesale hair care business. So they have their own line of products and they also distribute other products. They've been doing that for like over 15 years. And me and my brother branched off and opened our own like website, like on eBay and Amazon and things like that and selling our products. I haven't gotten back. I, I've slowly been getting back into it, but he's been running it. And then we have um, people that help us out and things like that and with my cousin. So they've been doing that. And I honestly help here and there, but I still haven't, I'm still like, adjusting to my life i really i jumped out of big brother and i was booked two months out like two months straight so I, it's been crazy i think the one thing that i'm gonna enjoy is we have a family vacation coming up and that's like the real downtime i'm gonna have so i'm excited about that but besides that no i haven't really gone back to work do you a lot of people go off of like big brother and they do like amazing race or survivor or anything like that would you see yourself doing anything like that so I wasn't, exp I really can't talk. I don't, I haven't been oh. contacted. I mean, yeah, I really can't talk much about it because of contracts and things like that. But as soon as I stepped out of the show, I had probably offers for like five TV shows right off the bat. Other networks were trying to get me on and things like that. The thing with that is that we are under contract with CBS. So we're not allowed to do as much as we want to do or all the offers that I got. Um, but I wasn't, even with that, I wasn't expect. I was expecting to like once I won, I was like, okay, I won. I'm gonna go back to my normal life. And then now it's such an opportunity for me where I've gotten offers from other networks to do other TV shows and work on other projects. So it's like I was not expecting that at all. Um, but yeah, for sure, you guys will be seeing more of me, and I'm gonna be doing um, more TV. And then I could probably disappear after it. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. that's great. Has it been like? 
I mean, I feel like you were so likable even on the show and everything. Have you had to deal with much negative or are you pretty fortunate in the fact that people just kind of enjoy your joking and they just go with oh, yeah. the aspect? Uh, the beauty about it all is that I really don't care and people think that I do, which is kind of funny, but I know myself and I know since a kid, my family knows me, either you hate Josh or you love Josh. That's just how it is. So I, was, I wasn't expecting any different going into the Big Brother house. I knew that I was going to come out to fans loving or hating me. The funny thing is that in person, people don't necessarily – I never got a negative response ever. I mean, me and Paul even went to New Orleans, and we were together, and fans were raging. Like, we couldn't even step out and go to a coffee shop. It was crazy. But, like, I've never received a negative response in person. I get a lot of love, and people just love my antics and – my personality because I was crazy and I guess I was funny. Um, but no, I think social media, I think that I don't even, I don't get a lot of it, but I know that some of my housemates and even public figures and things like that, I think that it's just, just negative to attack people, especially how cowardly it is behind a keyboard or things like that. I think that, that we need to do better with that. And I think that it's just sad that people would take time out of their day to attack someone else. Even if I don't like them necessarily, part of people of my housemates, they shouldn't, be attacked or just like try to bring them down because of we were on a reality show at least we have the courage and the confidence to go on a reality show right. so it's uh i i don't pay i try to have a good laugh with it and i try to like you know mess with them a bit but i really don't pay attention to it you feel bad for paul at all losing twice in a row by one vote when he chose who to go with to the end that's a really good question i honestly i did feel bad initially like right off the bat I build a really good friendship with him and we are really good friends outside of the house. And that's like a shock to a lot of fans, but we are really good fans. I love him and his family. My family loves him. Um, so yeah, I did feel bad to how it went down. I was, I didn't take my chances with, at the end of the day, I wasn't going to hand Paul 500 K and I didn't take my chances with him because I thought he would be me. I took my chances because I had work jury with my goodbye messages and I knew that people were going to be bitter, but that's part of big brother. People are bitter. People are mad. And that's, that's how it plays out. So I knew that that was going to happen. And I knew that people were going to compare notes and with my messages, they would do it. But I did feel bad how it went down the way the votes went down and just, but in the same sense, you went on a TV show and you won a hundred thousand dollars back. You won 50 and another 50. I don't know. Who, I, n nobody's done that, but Paul. So can you really feel bad? No. I mean, he walked away with a hundred thousand dollars from the big brother experience. A lot of people don't do that. I mean, I think he's one of the only ones. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we both, like I said, we both walked away with money. We both made it to where we wanted to make it. I think a lot of the jury did not want to vote for us. They didn't want to see us there. So I, I, that made it even better that people voted for me that didn't want to vote for me. Uh, so yeah, it played out exactly how I wanted it to play out. And I know that he's doing, I know that he's doing really well with his clothing line and, and he's really happy. He has a hundred K. So it's like, you can't be mad. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, um, so I don't know if you can answer this, but I think you can because that you were cast on a soap opera, wasn't it? The yeah. Bold, beautiful. Yeah. Um, can you talk about that or? Yeah, yeah for sure. That yeah. already aired. So. That's what I was on the, on. Yeah. So what's crazy is that I'm a type. I'm. I was raised where like I envision everything and putting. My mom's always like put on your mind what you want to achieve and, and and you'll get it done. So I envisioned my big brother experience exactly how it played out. I was like, I'm going to win. I'm going to go on the talk and have my interview. And then I'm going to go to the bold and the beautiful. And I'm going to have my, you know, extend my 15 seconds and just have a scene. And it, it, having that all come true was the craziest thing. Like I never thought the first thing I said to one of the producers, as soon as I stepped out, Sean, which takes care of us, I was like, did I get the bold and the beautiful? And she said, yes. And I literally, like, if you would have seen my reaction, I was jumping off the walls. And it was so funny because they incorporated, like, the whole meatballs thing in the pots and pans. So it was really fun. And it was a dream come true. I mean, the cast was awesome. Um, it was such a cool experience. And I hopefully um, I get more projects with them in the future. Yeah. Um, okay. So what's it like knowing that you won that amount of money at a young age? Like, has it changed your life? Like, just. You're like, oh, I'll just go yeah, it, it's it on the boat. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely changed my life a lot. I, you know, thank God I have a good team. Or I have a great family. I have a good group of people around me. I have great friends where they just like, oh, Josh, you're a joke. Like, okay, you won Big Brother. Move on. Like, what's next? So that's good. But to think about that I won $500,000 at 23 years old, like, I can't even fathom that. I was like, 
and, and starting my business, I definitely, I haven't even touched much of it. I'm, I got a family vacation and that's the one thing that I wanted to give back to my family and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm just really blessed and I'm going to be really smart with it and make that money grow and make sure that I, that I invest it wisely and, and make, make more than that. But it's just it's a huge blessing and it's surreal. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So be interested if you would start any brands or companies, what they would be, would they incorporate anything like that? Nice. I got reached out to do a t-shirt line, like with the whole meatballs and the pots and pans and all of that. And I didn't jump right into it because I was super busy and I honestly wanted to get out and like decompress because it's, it's crazy to jump out of big brother and then jump into interviews and then the fans and then social media and, and I did, and then meet and greet. So I really haven't had time to decompress, but I did get offers to do like a t-shirt line. I'm not going to run with it. That's not my route. I'm more of like, I like invest. I love looking at properties and investing in houses and, and, and my business and my online business. That's kind of what I'm into. I don't know if down the line, if, if the opportunity is right. Yeah. I'll probably do something with like t-shirts, like a quick line, like a few and like sell them. But, um, I don't see myself really doing that, but I will be doing TV, uh, in the near future. So, I mean, you could look forward to that. How do you stay so confident? I mean, I was raised confident. I just really, I, I really don't, it, it's the way I was raised. Like my dad is a really confident, strong machismo guy, like really tough. And he just, and I played sports my whole life. So I'm a real, I'm not cocky. I'm confident. I don't like cocky people, but I'm really confident. And I, 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 when I'm in a room, I want everybody to be confident and happy and positive vibes. But if you try to one up me, guess what? I'm going to humble you. And I think everybody saw that this summer. Um, and even I was like at my heaviest weight on Big Brother. And people like, how does this kid walk around? And people were clowning me and things like that. I'm like, dude, I don't care. Like, it's who I am. I'm real comfortable in my skin and I'm real comfortable in who I am as a person. And and yeah, that's all. That's all it is. I Does guess. the Big Brother house just have like food and stuff sitting all around? Where oh, yeah. Like, There's. All we have is junk food. It's like Hershey Kisses, cookies, pizza, chips. It's like a whole bunch of junk food, and you're stocked every week. Even if you like you like the storage room is stocked with food, they restock you, and it's like it's insane. But I was on slot for a month, uh, so uh, so that helped me drop a lot of weight, and uh, and, and yeah, it, it's just it's crazy, man. And anxiety and like the stress makes you overeat. So yeah. Um, so obviously you were like very persistent in applying for the show because you know you were like I'm gonna do it and you made it happen. What yeah. um, advice do you have for people that maybe want to be a part of the cast? Like you thought it was a great experience for you. What kind of advice would you give them? Yeah. So everybody, I got this question like in my DMs and everybody every time I do meeting greets, I get this question. So I'm thinking of uploading a YouTube video. Like I don't know if I'm starting a YouTube page, but I'm definitely gonna upload like a like a video to just literally give everyone the lowdown on how to do it. But to be honest with you, and I know that everyone gets tired of hearing this, and it's very cliche, and everybody says it, but I think the one thing that will get you casted is be authentically yourself. Just be yourself. Own who you are. If you're the nerdy, quirky girl, then be that. If you're the, you know, uh, the big guy, the, the the gym rat, then then be that guy. For me, I'm over the top, extremely loud Latino. I think what caught their eye was when I walked in. I was like, listen, you passed up your opportunity on putting me on the show three times. Uh, I'm a Latino from Miami. And to be honest with you, I haven't seen a Cuban win Big Brother. So either you're going to put me on or you all played yourselves. And I'm just going to so sign up on another show and you're going to want, you're going to regret it. And they were like, who the hell is this kid? So I just didn't shut up. During casting, I had an opinion on everything. They would shoot a question and I would shoot right back and just have it be opinionated during the casting process and make sure that you have stories and, and just uh, don't stop talking. At least that works for me. But in all in all, just be yourself and own who you are. And that confidence and that radiates and they'll pick up on it because they've been doing this for years. You know, they know when they catch, when they see a good personality. So, yeah. What made you choose banging pots and pans as a tactic? <laughs> so uh, in Miami, like when you have baseball games, parades, whatever it is, everybody bangs pots and pans. Like Gaia Ocho, that's what you do. You bang the pots and pans. Um, so that's something that, it's like a part of Miami culture, if you want to say. I don't know if people would own it, but it is. Um, but, yeah, I just – for me, it was more of, like – it was strategy, to be honest with you. I didn't want – people thought that I did it to, like, 
provoke somebody to hit me or provoke somebody to walk off. That was never my intent, and they know that. It was lighthearted humor, if you want. I did, it did get out of hand sometimes, but it's Big Brother. We signed up for $500,000. We're not going to play nice. Like, if you put – you you got the check at the end of the day, at the end of the game, and everybody's playing for it, and you think that people are going to, oh, I love you. Oh, you're my buddy. Let's hang out, and let's, you know, let's walk to the end. It's not going to go down like that. So it's Big Brother. Um, I did it. Some people hated it. Some people loved it. And, you know, it's kind of crazy how that's, like, the thing that I'm, like, known by. That and saying meatballs, which is <laughs> funny. But, I mean, it worked out. And so meatballs was your thing for people that maybe you didn't care for. <laughs> yeah. So in the beginning of the game, which you guys do see everything, but we do film for, like, nine days that we aren't – I don't know if I can say this. Shoot, I was getting tro- – I always catch myself saying this. But we don't go live. And it was very personal, and there was a lot of things said by Cody and – yeah, mainly Cody, Cody, and it was just, like, attacking, attacking, attacking. And I never dealt with that. Like, I've dealt with it, but I walk away from it in my real life, and I go – we go on about it to his lives. But to live with it – so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to call him out of his name. I'm not going to do that. So how do I turn – because I know that this is a kid-friendly show. So how do I turn this into a funny thing? And then I clicked, and I was like, I used to say meatball outside of the house. Like, I'm into mob movies and all that stuff. So I was like, yo, you're a meatball. And then from there, I just ran with it. Instead of being like, yo, you're a loser, and you suck at life, and and, and you're a weirdo. I was like, oh, you're a meatball. You played yourself. Like, get out of here. And, like, it was lighthearted, but in the same, it was like – it was kind of like making a joke out of them. So, yeah. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what do you think about Celebrity Big Brother? Will you be watching? I The one thing I'm really excited about, it's going back into being a fan of the show. Like, I kind of just want to disappear and go back into, like, being a fully invested fan of Big Brother. So I cannot wait till Big Brother Canada starts. Big Brother 20, like, um, Celebrity, I'm super excited. I am going to be watching. And I heard the lineup, and it's pretty... I don't know. They always make their predictions and things like that every season. So if that's the lineup, it's going to be pretty interesting to watch. Yeah. Um, okay. So how do you feel about Jess and Cody after getting out of the Big Brother house? Everybody. So uh, so people think that I hate Jess and Cody because obviously we were like against each other in the house. And it was really, it was really crazy. And we did not get along. Um, I think we don't talk at all. But I think that walking away from the experience, I left all of that in the Big Brother house, and I moved on. As soon as I stepped out, I said, it's just a game. I'm willing to move on. I wish them nothing but the best. And I, I know that they're an amazing race. I haven't been able to watch. But I, I hope they win a million dollars. Like, who doesn't want to win a million dollars? So I wish them nothing but the best. Um, I think that they are genuine. I get that question a lot. Are they genuine? I think that's one of the most genuine um showmances that has come out like that came out of the season so i wish them the best and nothing but blessings their way we don't talk but i mean i have no hatred towards them at all right how was it whenever like the finals when you're sitting there next to paul waiting for the vote like what's going through your mind at that point um i was in shock complete shock Uh, i was like it's like my mind like i just shut down like i was shaking um, my nerves were so – we didn't eat for hours. We couldn't even eat. The stress, the anxiety, and the tension was on an all t- – I think I broke out in hives from how stressed I was. And when Julie said my name, I didn't hear anything. I did. I blacked out, and I looked up and saw my name, and I was like – it was just a shock. Even when I stepped out, my mom's like, you were crying, and you couldn't – you weren't even – and I was like, you weren't even crying. And I was like – it was, I don't know, my bo- like my body went into shock mode. Um, and it didn't click probably like four or five hours later that I actually won Big Brother. <laughs> what is your life, like a day in the life of Josh now? Like, is it just always yeah. different? Like, you just never know what's going to happen that day? So, I have honestly felt like every weekend or as soon as Thursday hits, I'm like on a plane, which is kind of crazy. I know that once 20 starts and all that, it's going to die out and I'm going to, how people say fade and all that stuff. But luckily, I've gotten so many offers for TV and a lot of projects. And some of them I can do, some of them I can't. And I can't talk about it because I could get sued. Right. But I'm really excited for what the future has. And I'm really excited um, to see where this whole experience takes me. I'm really open to um, new projects and and just traveling. One thing I wanted to do was travel. And I get to travel for free and, and meet fans and do all that fun stuff. So that's been really exciting. And, and yeah, and then just like, 
get back into I want to get back into my business for sure and dive back in how I was fully invested before I left. I I I worked here and there and I've done orders and things like that, but I want to get back into that. But we'll see. Would going back in the Big Brother house is that like on a list? Or are you like I won, I'm out, I'm good? Um, I, it's fifty fifty. I won and I'm out, but if I get the call, I would do it. You know, uh, yeah. yeah, like who wouldn't, if you get the call for Big Brother, whoever played before and said they wouldn't do it is either because they started a life and have kids or they're completely lying to themselves. Like you're not going to, you're not going to play, like you're not going to want to play again for 500K, you're lying. Like, so yeah, if I got the call, I would do it, but it's not something like, oh, I want the call, you know, like. Um, okay, well, if we, I know we can kind of wrap it up here. Thank you. I don't want to take, I could talk to you all day though. This is great. Yeah, I yeah. told this you, is know, me, I was going to bring you guys on later together <laughs> yeah was, this is fun i'm i'm down just message me and if i have time we'll for sure do a skype call and all that stuff um so finally though i just want to kind of let you finish it off with like all these people have been following your journey and like i just feel like people were messaging they were so excited to have you here so is there just anything you want to tell to the people that are following you and excited I for just, you? i just want to say that i'm extremely humbled and grateful and just appreciative appreciative of all the love and all the support that i get I think that it's overwhelming for me and my family to see how many lives and how many people we were able that I was able to impact. I was just a crazy kid that was on a TV show, but like I think that it was way bigger than that. And I, if I was able to bring laughter and happiness into your lives, and and you know your messages every day empower me. So just thank you for the support. Um, and yeah, just keep. I try to get back to every DM, but it's so many and so many messages that I just do a live and I just shout them out and I just like let them know how much i appreciate it but yeah just thank you so much for the support and it means the world to me so yeah and i'm sure people can like follow along because i know there's a lot of things that maybe you have in the works that you can't share about yet but i'm sure that like instagram twitter facebook yeah. you can see it on there whenever you can for sure um you guys can follow me on my instagram is josh underscore martinez underscore and then from there i have everything linked like my twitter and all that and then yeah i'm yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. We'll see once everything like comes out. It's gonna be a good time. So yeah, I can't wait. Awesome! Thank you so much, Josh. We wish you the best, and I know you're gonna be successful. We'll be watching for you. All thank you, guys. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Yes, thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off, but thank you. Nice. Bye, guys. Thank you.